The Greeks weren't European, not genetically anyway. In a sterile laboratory at Harvard Medical School, scientists extract DNA from 4,000-year-old teeth pulled from Hagios Karalambos cave in Crete, expecting to confirm what everyone already knew, that the founders of Western civilization carried European genes. Instead, the genetic code tells a different story entirely. 75% of ancient Greek ancestry traces back to Middle Eastern farmers who island hopped from Turkey, carrying seeds, pottery, and a genetic signature that would define the Mediterranean for millennia. Another 15% flows from the Caucasus region near modern-day Iran, mountain peoples whose DNA traveled west long before anyone drew borders on maps. In this video, we'll explore how modern Greeks carry genetic markers originating from the Middle East and Africa at rates that dwarf most European populations. We're confronted with a crucial question. If the people who created democracy, philosophy, and the cultural foundations of Western civilization were genetically more Middle Eastern than European, what does the term European actually mean? 4,600 years ago, Crete bloomed with Europe's first advanced civilization at sites like Knossos and Phaistos. The Minoans painted dolphins on palace walls, crafted delicate pottery with octopus motifs, and built sprawling complexes with sophisticated plumbing systems that wouldn't look out of place in a modern city. DNA analysis by Yosef Lazaridis reveals these palace builders descended directly from Neolithic farmers who crossed the Aegean from southwestern Anatolia around 7,000 years ago. The genetic signature is unmistakable. Minoan DNA clusters closest to modern populations from Turkey and the Levant, not to European hunter-gatherers who still roamed northern forests. At Hagios Charalambos Cave, archaeologists found communal burials containing hundreds of individuals whose bones preserve this Middle Eastern genetic foundation. When Linear A tablets reveal administrative records from Minoan palaces, they document a sophisticated society built on Middle Eastern genetic foundations that would persist through every invasion that followed. As Minoan civilization mysteriously collapsed around 1400 BCE, their genetic legacy didn't vanish. It flowed north to the Greek mainland, where it would encounter new peoples arriving from an entirely different direction. On the Greek mainland, excavations at Mycenae reveal royal shaft graves containing warriors buried with golden death masks and bronze weapons that tell a story of genetic mixing on an epic scale. The legendary Mycenaeans inherited the Minoan genetic foundation, but genetic analysis reveals something revolutionary. 4 to 16% of their ancestry came from Eastern European steppes. DNA extracted from burial sites shows these Bronze Age Greeks combined Middle Eastern farmer ancestry with genetic signatures from nomadic peoples who had traveled vast distances across the Eurasian steppes. Y chromosome analysis reveals the introduction of haplogroup J, rare in earlier European populations, but common throughout the Caucasus and Middle East, now dominating Mycenaean male lineages. Archaeological evidence from sites like Pylos and Tiryns shows Mycenaean Greeks built massive Cyclopean walls and developed Linear B script to administer a warrior society that controlled trade routes from Spain to Cyprus. But these Bronze Age Greeks weren't isolated. Their maritime empire connected them to civilizations across the Mediterranean, setting the stage for genetic exchanges that would continue for millennia. The Mediterranean functioned as a genetic highway connecting civilizations from Spain to Cyprus through maritime trade networks that mixed populations for thousands of years. Phoenician merchants from Tyre and Sidon established permanent settlements at Greek ports and created the alphabet that Greeks adapted to write the philosophical works defining Western thought. Recent archaeological excavations at Komos in Crete reveal Phoenician pottery mixed with local Greek artifacts, physical evidence of populations that intermarried rather than remained separate. Roman conquest of Greece in 146 BCE brought not just political control but centuries of colonial settlement, with Roman administrators, soldiers, and merchants establishing permanent communities throughout Greek territories. These revelations about ancient migrations are exactly why we created Ancestry Code, to uncover the hidden genetic connections that rewrite our understanding of human history. 
If you're fascinated by how DNA evidence reveals the surprising truth about our ancestors, subscribe to our channel for more discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew. Now onto the video. Roman genetic influence appears in modern Greek populations through Y chromosome signatures and autosomal markers that reflect Italian ancestry mixed with local Greek bloodlines during four centuries of imperial rule. Archaeological evidence from Roman period Greek cities shows hybrid burial practices, mixed architectural styles, and material culture that reflects genetic as well as cultural blending between Roman colonists and Greek populations. Alexander the Great's earlier conquests created Hellenistic kingdoms, where Greek colonists mixed with local populations from Egypt to Afghanistan, spreading Greek genetic signatures while absorbing Middle Eastern and Asian DNA that would flow back to the Greek homeland. Yet even as Greeks spread across three continents, they faced challenges closer to home, challenges that would test everything they thought they knew about East and West. When Persian armies invaded Greece in 490 BCE under Darius, then again in 480 under Xerxes, the conflicts were framed as East versus West, civilization against barbarism. But genetic evidence reveals the uncomfortable truth. Both Greeks and Persians shared substantial Middle Eastern ancestry from the same Neolithic farming populations that had spread across the region thousands of years earlier. Modern DNA analysis confirms that Greeks and Persians derived from identical ancestral sources, Anatolian farmers mixed with Caucasus hunter-gatherer populations, making them genetic cousins rather than foreign enemies. Persian administrative control over Greek cities in Asia Minor from 546 BCE created centuries of genetic exchange between ruling Persian families and established Greek populations. Major Greek centers like Ephesus and Miletos functioned under Persian rule for generations, where intermarriage between Persian administrators and Greek merchants created mixed families documented in both Persian and Greek historical sources. The extensive Persian Empire included dozens of Greek-speaking cities, where cultural and genetic blending occurred over centuries of coexistence, with archaeological evidence showing hybrid burial practices and mixed material culture. Y chromosome analysis reveals both populations carried similar frequencies of haplogroup J, the Middle Eastern marker that dominated male lineages throughout the ancient Near East. The famous battles of Marathon and Thermopylae took place between related Mediterranean peoples rather than fundamentally different civilizations, a truth that ancient propaganda obscured but modern genetics reveals. As the Persian threat receded, Greeks could never have imagined the demographic tsunami that would sweep down from the frozen North centuries later, carrying genetic signatures that would fundamentally transform the Balkans. Between 600 and 800 CE, massive Slavic migrations from the Pripet marshes of Ukraine and southern Poland transformed the genetic landscape of southeastern Europe in ways that archaeology is only beginning to understand. Picture entire villages abandoning their ancestral homes, families loading ox carts with children and livestock, following rivers south toward warmer lands they'd never seen. This demographic revolution began when a Var horseman from the Asian steppes pushed Slavic tribes south across the Danube, creating population movements so massive they fundamentally altered the Balkans forever. Archaeological sites like Olympia show Slavic pottery styles appearing suddenly in the 7th century CE, marking the arrival of entire tribal confederations carrying families, livestock, and distinctive genetic signatures. In mainland Greece, genetic analysis reveals 30 to 40 percent of modern ancestry derives from these medieval Slavic settlers, with regions like Mani showing even higher percentages. The newcomers brought Y chromosome haplogroups R1A and I2, genetic markers that appear throughout Greek populations today, proving demographic replacement rather than just cultural influence. Village names across Greece preserve this Slavic heritage. Dragomirna in Euboea, Sklabina near Thebes, 
and dozens of other settlements that echo the Slavonic languages of their medieval founders. The genetic transformation was so complete that when Ottoman armies arrived centuries later, they encountered Greek populations already carrying the mixed bloodlines that would make the empire's next chapter possible. When Mehmed the Conqueror incorporated Greek territories in 1453, the Ottoman Empire created one of history's most fascinating examples of genetic reconnection across centuries. The Ottoman millet system allowed Greek Orthodox communities to maintain religious autonomy, while Turkish, Albanian, and other Muslim populations established permanent settlements throughout Greek territories. Genetic studies reveal measurable ancestry from Ottoman-era populations in modern Greeks, particularly Turkish and Albanian signatures, concentrated in areas of heaviest settlement. The Devshirma system recruited Christian boys from Greek families for Ottoman service, creating complex networks spanning ethnic boundaries that facilitated intermarriage across the empire. Cities like Nauplia and Monemvasia became cosmopolitan centers where Greek, Turkish, Albanian, and Jewish communities lived in proximity, creating opportunities for the genetic mixing that DNA analysis reveals today. When Greece gained independence in 1821, the population exchanges that followed couldn't erase four centuries of genetic mixing that had reconnected Greek populations with their ancient Anatolian roots. The full scope of this genetic complexity would remain hidden until modern laboratories could decode the layered story written in Greek DNA. In genetics labs at Harvard, the University of Washington, and research centers across Europe, scientists decode the genetic signatures that define modern Greek identity through analysis of both ancient and contemporary DNA samples. The groundbreaking study by George Stamatoyanopoulos and colleagues published in Science analyzed over one million genetic markers, revealing the complex ancestry that defines Greek populations today. Autosomal DNA analysis places Greeks in a genetic position balanced between Europe and the Middle East, clustering closer to Anatolian and Levantine populations than to Northern Europeans in principal component studies. Y chromosome studies reveal Greeks carry some of the highest frequencies of haplogroup E outside of Africa, a genetic signature that originated on the African continent and traveled north through Middle Eastern populations. Haplogroup J appears at elevated levels throughout Greek populations, creating genetic profiles that differ dramatically from typical Northern European patterns dominated by haplogroups R1A and R1B. Regional variations within Greece tell precise stories of historical influence. Studies show 29.9 to 40.2% Slavic ancestry in Peloponnese and Macedonia Greeks, while Cretan and Cyclades Greeks display 17.9 to 19.7% Slavic genetic signatures. A 2023 study published in Cell analyzed 146 ancient samples and confirmed that Slavic migrations contributed more than half the ancestry of most Balkan peoples, even in countries like Greece where Slavic languages disappeared. The Harvard study led by Lazaridis comparing ancient Mycenaean and Minoan DNA to modern Greeks confirmed substantial genetic continuity spanning over 3,000 years, despite centuries of migration and conquest. These laboratory revelations force an uncomfortable reckoning with everything we thought we knew about European identity. If the people who created democracy, philosophy, and the cultural foundations of Western civilization were genetically more Middle Eastern than European, what does the term European actually mean? Greek genetics expose the arbitrary nature of continental boundaries, revealing that the Mediterranean has always functioned as a zone of mixing rather than a barrier between distinct populations. The persistence of Greek cultural identity despite massive genetic changes over millennia demonstrates that ethnicity represents shared traditions and language rather than biological purity or genetic consistency. Genetic analysis of other European populations reveals that Middle Eastern farmer ancestry appears throughout the continent, making Greeks typical rather than unique in their mixed genetic heritage. 
Modern genetic science demolishes the clash of civilizations narrative by revealing thousands of years of genetic exchange between populations we now consider fundamentally different. The uncomfortable truth forces us to reconsider not just Greek identity, but European identity itself, categories that dissolve under scientific scrutiny. But the implications reach far beyond academic debates about continental boundaries. Greece's position at the intersection of three continents created a genetic laboratory that reveals fundamental truths about human migration, identity, and the arbitrary nature of continental boundaries. Each historical wave, Middle Eastern farmers, steppe nomads, Slavic migrants, Ottoman settlers, contributed genetic diversity that helped populations survive, while Greek cultural identity persisted through shared language, religious traditions, and collective memory. Rather than asking whether Greeks are European or Middle Eastern, science reveals that such categories misunderstand human ancestry entirely. We are all products of ancient mixing that transcends the boundaries political maps impose on genetic reality. Greek genetics offer a model for understanding how all civilizations adapt and survive through embracing change rather than resisting it, through diversity rather than purity, through connection rather than isolation. This was Ancestry Code, and as always, thanks for watching.